So the first thing we're going to speak about is what do you wear to your first class? Right, so what I'm wearing now is deemed very appropriate for your first time training on the tatami and you're not quite ready to invest in a keiko gi, the training suit. Um, you can just basically pick out something that is at home already that is appropriate. The idea behind it is to try not to expose too much skin while you are training. This is mostly for hygienic reasons. We try to keep as much dirt off the mat, um, you're going to be training barefoot, of course, no shoes allowed in the tatami. Um, so if you are perspiring and that's rubbing off onto the mat, um, this is not ideal. Right? So if you can get yourself a long sleeve shirt, that would be perfect. If you don't have a long sleeve shirt, a t-shirt is also alright. Um, on my legs, right, I'm wearing just basic uh, leggings or exercise pants that don't restrict my movement at all, a good test. Do a bit of a lunge, do a bit of a crouch in your pants and to see if they are restricting the movement at all or perhaps exposing anything embarrassing at the back. So ideally get something that covers well. Um, please don't wear trainers or sneakers or tackies. Um, basically we are training barefoot as I mentioned earlier and you want to be able to slide out of your shoes as easily as possible before you step onto the mat. Okay, So these will be lined up on the side of the tatami and before you enter onto the mat. If you also have a tendency to perspire, it might be a good idea to bring yourself a little sweet rag along. Right, you can keep this with your shoes um, on the side of the mat, so if you find yourself in trouble, you can quickly go and sort yourself out. Alright, so before you've invested in a cake cookie, this would be the correct garments to wear when you are at your first class.